This is a tutorial to show you how to create brushes in Photoshop CS5, but the same approach could be used for CS4, CS3 and all other versions for PC or Mac. Now, I'm going to be using custom shapes in this. It's a custom shape set from agraphicextras.com where you can find loads and loads, but you could use any custom shape sets you can find on the web or ones come with Photoshop. Right, just go to the custom shape tool. Now you can select the colour via the swatches, that's one of the easiest ways to do that. And when you select the custom shapes tool, you will see the various custom shapes. Now you can just go and obviously load custom shapes here. Just go to load commands on the right side, there's a little arrow there, so you can just load the custom shapes. And these ones are insect designs, so various different designs. So the brushes are going to be sort of insect based. So I'm just going to select one brush and just apply the brush. Now the colour, like I say, you can change the colour here. I mean, one of the ways to create more interesting brushes is actually to vary the colours. So I'm just going to just select a different colour swatch, a grey. The brushes are grayscale, so uh, it doesn't make a difference really having colours in there. So I'm just going to now apply another these little insects. And you've got a brush here. So you can, the best way to create a really interesting brush is to just by creating multiple different uh, designs. Of course, you can create a singular brush design, but uh, another way also is to apply the brush. Once you've applied the brushes, so you can just say, add some more brushes here. I'm just going to create another thing. Say like a, some different flies and cockroaches and whatever. Okay, like I say, with different colors. So you can create very complicated brushes using the custom shapes. Custom shapes probably are the best ways to create brushes very easily. So I'm just going to now set the brush to white. And I'm just going to select another brush. And I'm just going to just apply them over. It creates a sort of grunge sort of thing. So you sort of just cut out various parts of the brush instead of having just a very clear brush. So you've got a more abstract design there. Now, just select the area of the brush. So obviously you don't, don't want anything of the, the edge to be well, you could, of course, have it edge going to there. So there's actually a, a reasonably clear edge around the brush. Then define brush preset. So that's edit menu, define brush preset, and it creates a sampled brush. Click OK at that point. Deselect. Just quickly fill that with white. Right. And now select the brush. And you'll see the brush in the brush thing. So you can just apply that. So I'm just going to set that to black. So you can create very quick abstract designs, grunged scene designs. Now you could apply this over an image or whatever. Now if you want to actually save the brush, so obviously you've, you've created this brush, of course you want now to do a save brush command. And that will save all the brushes currently stored in there. So you can save it to an ABR format brush. So I'm just going to say that and then just give it a name and say click save and that's it you've saved a you've got a instant inst insect brush okay